Tonight allows people a release for all the hatred and violence that they keep up inside them. This won't bring him back. It won't make you feel any better. Thank you. It is a night that is defining our country. Citizens, this will be a tradition we celebrate every year. Join the first purge. What the hell is going on? ex-military something funky going down d you're sending soldiers into the island disguised as citizens this country needs for this to work no one's coming to help us after tonight nothing will ever be the same again what have i done just remember all the good the purge does Lawrence, is that you? Oh yeah, it's me. What's going on? <laughs> you pussy grabbing motherfucker. <laughs> Let's start that again, guys. Lawrence, is that you? Yeah, it's me. What's going on with the air conditioning in this building? I'm sweating like a motherfucker snitch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I remember that. A film. Uh... Not unlike Leprechaun, where in the fourth one they went in the in the hood, let's say. A certain killer clown film. No, it's not. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I've been in the sun all day, and I was force-fed many drugs. The Purge. First year? Is first that what purge. it's called? The First Purge? First Purge. Marissa Tomei and 50 Cent mixed with the Black Panther. Is, am I crazy for Boseman. seeing that? Is that who it is? Uh, I mean, I could see the 50 cent. I don't know about Chadwick The Boseman. main guy, Dimitri, he looks like Chadwick Boseman <laughs> mixed with 50 cent. I give you the 50 cent. I give you the 50 cent. That's about it. The boring, most boring movie I've seen in a while. Wow. I was ready for it to end from the jump. Yeah. Everything was just yeah. so small. It was it, more action movie than horror movie. Well, that's sure. what it is. Yeah, I probably should have yeah. told you that. Uh, the first one tries well, to be Well, I wasn't expecting it to be like... The Conjuring or something, or like no. Hereditary. I thought it'd be like Saw, you know? Yeah. I feel like so I guess it would have been better say, that way. Uh, I've seen all the Purge movies. I have so seen none. This is your first one, which is uh, a prequel to all of the previous Purge movies. Should I have seen any of the Purges before this? Um, I think the only one that's like really generally worth watching. I mean, watching. to see this one that we just saw. <sighs> I mean... It's Honestly, a pretty simple concept. Yeah, it didn't really feel like I needed it. That's anything. the thing. It's a great concept, The Purge, yeah. but they never really completely execute on, on The best they did was the second one, The Purge Anarchy. What would be your biggest problem with the series? What do they do wrong? Um, well, they waste the concept. You know, they, they don't really go all in with they it. They just do a bunch of jump scares and random... Rambo-esque milit like this guy's the ultra elite military-esque yeah. gangsta, which is what the the problems were with the first movie. The ho first movie is like a home invasion movie, yeah. And people were like, okay, like why are we just in this one building? Why don't we get in the streets? Because it's a cheap movie. Yeah, exactly. That's and what I was thinking halfway through this. It felt like Escape to New York, but with half the budget. And Escape from New York was, was a, a fucking budget small movie. budget movie. Yeah, they in give... In the 80s. They give, um... The first movie had, like, a... Like, a $1 million budget. Which, this is a Blumhouse production, so everything's low budget. Yeah. Because of that one being so successful, the, these sequels have about a $9 million budget. Which is, you know, a nice amount of money to do something. And, you could make uh, a good movie. You could make a movie with yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean... Solid know, Drive movie. was made for, like, $10 million bucks, And, you know... The Raid 2 was made for five, so, I mean, you can make a really good movie for, you know, you know yeah. cheap. Um, but, yeah, this is uh, this is pure schlock. Like, like right off the There's a character right named Skeletor, and it's not at all a joke. Yeah, no. And I, I kind of dug him at the yeah. beginning. I wish they did a lot more with his See, character. Right when he first showed up, I'm like... He goes away for, like, the entire third act and didn't... More than the third act, really. It's yeah. like the last half of the movie. Hey, he just disappeared. Yeah, and, and it Motherfuckers! was... Motherfuckers! 
Yeah, that's what is. Yeah, he just is, comes uh, in out of nowhere and is, screams, "Motherfuckers!" If, if you wanted an urban purge movie, here it is. I needed more <laughs> violence, honestly. Oh yeah, absolutely. That that's what I will say is. And don't white people not, live on Staten Island too? Staten Island is majority white people. Oh okay. That's that's that because the 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 director. Well, not the director, but the director of the first three, and the main writer is James DeMarco, which. He's a big Staten Island guy. Did he do that City by the Sea movie with James Franco and De Niro? He might have wrote the script. I don't think he directed it. He wrote the script for the Insult on Precinct 13 remake, which I really like. And he I did, still haven't watched it. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, I think it is. And um, he did uh, he did a movie with Ethan Hawke called Staten Island. <laughs> Shocker. Um, was it shitty? Yeah, it wasn't that great. It had D'Onofrio in it. What was it about? It's about gangsters in Staten Island. It was very generic. Enough. That's what you get with enough, Rio. Either I rewatched I Jurassic Rio. World. Not, not good. He's he's dude. He's taking a paycheck, man. No, Dino, I mean, D'Onofrio's fine in it. I mean, the movie as a whole. Oh, yeah. Jurassic I World, hated Jurassic not good. World. I fucking hated it. I didn't hate it, but it just it was just like just the other one, just dumb, stupid, bland, fucking mushy cereal put in front of your face. But anyways, uh, back, back to, to purging. Purge. Um, yeah. So uh, Why, there was a lot of KKK Nazi symbolism yeah, and stuff, which and, is kind of yeah. There's definitely an overlining message with the movie for sure. There's a lot of Trump yeah. uh, isms. The pussy yeah, grabbing so. line. Oh yeah, is a clear thing I didn't to Trump. That. I didn't think about uh, that. There's a scene where the guys grab a radio and man, what is this some kind of Russia shit? So yeah. there's some there's some clear kind of you know jabs parallels. At, yeah, jabs at Trump. Um, well, the Which whole is movie shocking. is, um, I see, it's about, they're doing the first purge on Staten Island, but it's all about, they're not treating brown and black people right. I mean, they, you can say that, that's fine, but aren't there a lot of white people on Staten Island? Yeah, there's loads of white people, which is, it's weird, because like... And then not only that, the militias who come in, they dress them up like KKK guys and fucking Nazis yeah. and stuff. Which the first image was pretty dope. Like, when you see those guys on the back of the truck with the fucking AK-47s and the blood yeah. on their uniforms, I was like, okay, wow. That was pretty cool. This but is good just, imagery. It was the same thing. I liked it better when yeah. they had, like, random people with the sort of grotesque masks, honestly. That's more of the... The, the eye-glowing thing. I thought they were going to play into it more. I'm glad they didn't. I thought it was going to be, oh, now that means he's evil because his eyes are glowing now. They yeah. didn't really do I, that, that That's much. not in any of the previous movies. Um... I thought that was an interesting concept that, you know, okay, that's how they um, kind of see what everyone's doing during the purge because they want people to participate. Um, how so, the fuck do they fit a transmitting camera in a goddamn contact lens that also lights up? You're not supposed to think about it. <laughs> I have an inquisitive mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. But, um... What would you think of the movie? Uh, you know, I had some fun with it in places. It's, like yeah, I said, it's not good. It was it's, very boring to me. It really drags in certain sections. That's what I'll say. What sections for you? Um, the well, beginning what, goes the beginning, on kind of a while. The beginning is rough. I'm just like, come on, let, let, let's get into the purge, let's get into the violence. Um, that was the biggest problem with this for me, is not yeah. enough violence, not enough sort of striking imagery. Do you remember in the fog when they were killing those, um, they were helping the three men, whatever they call themselves? And um, they were shooting the KKK militia guys. They see the blood looked horrendous. Do you think they used CGI blood just because yeah, they were in the fog or whatever? It's yeah, that was smoke. that was terrible. Like uh, there was a lot of practical blood I saw, but anytime like towards the end, people were getting shooting. Man, the fucking CG blood was horrific. And Did that's you like the that's the biggest problem with the movies. At the beginning and the end, the repeated siren. Uh, of the annual purge commencement, yeah. Well, like at the that. end, the second one, the a lot whatever alarm was going off. Do you remember the light? Ah, mm-hmm. uh, no, not really. Getting confused now. At the end, when um, fifty Chadwick does <laughs> gets into the place. Oh, when, when the the big action scene is in the yeah, building, exactly that. No, nah, that didn't work for me. And I, and I will tell people, like, if you have uh, a tendency of to have seizures at all, the movie decides to just have flashing lights for, like, the last act, which does not work at all. It's so shitty. Mm. In that building. I was like, oh, they introduced man, What was with on. that weird uh, Nightbreed character that showed up at the end? 
Do you remember David Cronenberg's character from Nightbreed had that weird black I have never mask? seen Nightbreed. All right, never mind then. Yeah, it's one of those I gotta see. He lo- it really reminded me of that, the lead. See, here's here's the whole... We're fuck spoilers. This is a really dumb Yeah, movie. I mean, let's, it's, it's the purge. Like... If you've seen the previous movies, like you get it, like I it's people exactly, in the street. We knew you knew exactly what was going to happen. People are trying to too. die. You know, so that was we're a just big gonna, problem. We're we just going to talk happen. The um, yeah. So the government first purge. Scientist says, "Okay, the numbers say the purge will be good." Uh-huh. First off, what makes the pur- a purge successful? More people committing violence. Well, yeah, that's what they said they set out to do. But anyways. Yeah. Purge, not many people purging. There's parties and shit. Skeletors killing one person at a time. Motherfucker! <laughs> and, um, so they send in militias and dress them up like KKK members, I guess. Yeah, and also regular people in the house, too. Yeah. Just to kill everybody. Just to start it up. They want, they want people to join yeah. in the purge. And they try to play it like it's... A twist, a surprise, that's happening, that's what's they, going they to happen. They gave that away in the trailers, so yeah. I was like, I, like, I knew that, yeah, it was going to happen. Well, I knew it pretty much yeah. throughout. No joke. Yeah. Um, Marissa Tomei was in it, she looked kind of old. Really? I thought she looked good. Mm. I like Marissa Tomei. I do as well. Got thank for. But, yeah, boy, they, uh, what they get rid of her quick. Yeah. Uh, Sadly. She was getting a paycheck, though. Yeah. You know. Didn't have to do much. Go ahead, Mars. Tell me, get your paycheck. You want to? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, um, so, uh, having some technical difficulties here. <laughs> the, um, was the action any good for you? No, not really. Like, I mean, there's some funny scenes, like, when people get killed and shit. Like, but it's, it's not, like... Did you find it weird that the gang members were, like, ultra-elite soldier types? Yeah, it was a little, uh... A it little was jarring. A little strange, because, like, our main hero, I kind of figured, I'm like, okay, well, clearly he's, like, a former soldier. But they don't really tell you that until the very I end I just saw him as a ga- he was. I just thought he was a gang member. Yeah, at, were, uh, at the end of the movie, they're like... Oh yeah, we got a, we got a soldier here. We got a hero coming through. I was like, oh, I'm okay, thinking come meant, on, I don't think he really was soldier. I, I think, think he meant so. that in come, the street come on. terms. Like, what fucking gang member knows how to fucking handle themselves that way? That's why I'm upset. That's what I'm saying. <sighs> I don't think break. any gang member could. But I think you're saying this is a real soldier because he's really holding it down yeah, for I think the block. Del- I think huh? Dolores Dolores knew he was a soldier. <laughs> the Dolores, only, the only character I know. Yeah, Dimitri. That was his name. I'm talking about Dolores, the girl who, who I was like, I, I know, I know what you're doing. You good with that gun, boy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to remember much from this, and I'm perfectly fine with that. It was all really dumb. Yeah, it's, uh, it's. You it's, definitely, there was a few chuckle moments, but not nearly enough for oh, anybody no. to fucking see this. Do, I mean. Oh, well, I mean, listen, it's it's better than the third Purge movie, and it's better than the what first What was the third Purge one movie. called? Anarchy? Election Year. Election Year. Second one was Second Anarchy. Second one was Anarchy. Uh, and I'll say, like, if, if you like the Purge movies, you're, you can have some fun with this. You can have some fun with this, but. Make sure you have a couple beers beforehand. <laughs> you know? And if you're in a theater, um, shoot up, I guess. Because they <laughs> frown upon, you know, drinking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> just shoot some heroin. <laughs> right. Um, biggest problem with this. What do you, what are you talk? Yeah, what do we, what um, are we well, I mean, at? listen, the story's terrible. Like, these characters are annoying as fuck. You don't really care about them. Like, you start off with this young character, and it's like it's The Wire, you know, with him slinging shit on the street. And I'm pretty was, sure at least one or two people who were in this were in The Wire. Or it in felt, a show. It felt like he, the director, was a big fan of The Wire and was adding Keep it moving, keep it moving. Yeah, it, it definitely gave me feels of that, and... Uh, but yeah, the, the jump scares are fucking terrible, and they're clearly inserted Well, the jump the scares are just, like, somebody walks up on you. But we're really close on you, so we can't see somebody coming up on you. Yeah, that that's a problem. And also, they do it a lot more in the first half than the second. The second half is mostly action. Yeah, it's 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 just right to the point. Which is like these movies aren't scary. Like it's it's just about you get the atmosphere of you know what's going on. It's the the anarchy, the apocalypse of civilization. Civilization for one night. Society falling apart. And um, 
But I will say that another one of my really big problems with this is that there's in the main kid's room, like Isaac or whatever his name is, I think it was. Isaiah. Isaiah. Um, there's a poster of the new Halloween movie. Yeah, I saw out, that. I, that was really cheap. clearly digitally inserted. It was digitally inserted? It was digitally you think? inserted. I just, 100%. I didn't really check it out too much. I just saw it that poster, and then they moved. That poster just got released like a, like a month ago. That movie's been done for a long time. Yeah. You know, and. What do you think? Do you think the new Halloween looks good, even though you didn't see the preview? Um. I'll say I ha I was very optimistic at first, you know, because I, even though David Gordon Green and um, uh, what's his name, uh, Danny McBride wrote wrote the script, yeah. I think you know I think they're smart guys and they you know write some really dark humor and stuff, so I think that they could you know make a serious film and I've seen them kind of you know do some serious stuff, yeah. But I saw a small image of the trailer. When I was watching a YouTube vid, and it was Jamie Lee Curtis with a Winchester rifle shooting, and I immediately closed my eyes. I was like, "Oh, that no. wasn't even that wasn't even the worst part for me seeing yeah. the preview." It's uh, there's something about the Predators preview that is um is quite horrifying for me. Earmuffs for me, please, Gerard. Yeah. <laughs> Earmuffs. I want to tell the fans. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> there's a super predator. A giant, a predator that's like double the size of the normal, normal predator. Okay, you're good. It's something that's truly, it's really going to, it looked fine until they brought that into the mix. Okay? Yeah. This guy is a sort of Hitler figure when it comes to not seeing the preview. Which is why I told him to earmuffs. Yes. I started, speaking of earmuffs, I recently started watching True Detective Season 2. <laughs> So far, not as good as season one, but, you know, Colin Farrell's doing pretty good. Yeah. Rachel McAdams is pretty good. Eh, she's okay. She's all annoying in that. Taylor Kitsch is okay. I like him in it. I don't like where his character goes, but I do I do, I do like it. Uh, I am sort of questioning it right now, because I'm... Trust me, you're really going to question it once the resolution happens. Spoiler alert for True Detective season two for a second. <laughs> Jesus. I just finished the episode where we met up with an old army buddy. At like a racetrack. Taylor Catch? Yeah. He's totally used to be gay or fucking dudes yes, or something. Yes. Okay. I'm like, why does it, what, what are we bringing it in He's smoking hot check and, and. Her ass looked amazing. Yeah, There's this one Genesis, shot of her like laying on the bed. Is her name, yeah. Genesis, if you ever so want nice. like a uh, flabby white boy <laughs> who's all red because he's been laying in the sun all day. <laughs> baby. Yeah, she's fine. I'm she's your fine man. Fuck. Rudy Land is your man. Yeah. That ass looked amazing. But anyways, <laughs> back to uh, the purge. Let's purge ourselves of these thoughts of asses and so, such. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, what were your problems? How, how did you feel about I was it? really bored. Yeah, Nothing bored. was happening. Yeah. Just a lot of necks. For some reason, the brother and the sister get slashed in the neck by the same guy, right. Skeletor. Skeletor, yeah. Not and, enough Skeletor, uh, frankly. No, I, I really like the beginning when you see him. and he and he's At just... first, I thought he was going to get annoying. Yeah. But it really, he really, he it worked, really worked me, into he's something. Like, he's yeah. like totally crazy and, and motherfucker. Yeah, and he's talking about hitting the fucking pipe and going, and he's got those fucking just grimy fucking teeth and shit. And uh, some yeah, weird I was in like, him. what was those scars or like things that they put into his goddamn skin? It was skin. almost like uh, like the African scarring that they do to make like you know, bumps like, and shit. Yeah, um, yeah, almost like that. And. Uh, I will say that his his choice of weapon is random as fuck. He's got syringes. Just did he ever use them? <laughs> did we see him use them? The first on dude anybody? he killed, he stabs him in the chest with the syringes. You sure it was the syringes? Not yeah, the he goes blade? like that with his fucking hand. Okay. And then he, like, I thought it was the him. knife. Nah, he uses the syringe hand. He has um three or four syringes taped around his wrist, like right where you make a fist. It'd be pointing out. Yeah, and it's uh, uh syringe knuckles. <laughs> syringe knuckles which would just like pop right off of your hand as yeah as soon as i saw that i was like that's probably not a good idea especially no. just taping them they're gonna break <laughs> they're gonna pop right off but yeah. hey he's a uh, skeletor is an artist <laughs> he does things his own way <laughs> yeah he's an abstract artist. did you recognize any of the characters from this except uh, for the one black for dude Tome and, and the, the guy from the wire yeah with the with the little beard uh the gray beard yeah nah i He's in a well, episode, lot of episodes of Law and Order, by yeah, the way. Yeah, there was a woman in the church, uh, Hispanic, who um, she was on, uh, oh man, what was she on? I think she was on, 
I, she wasn't on the Shield. It was it was some FX show. It was like Justified or something. Yeah. But uh, I did recognize her. People people will recognize her from some shit. She's a character actor. I didn't recognize anybody. Yeah, but that's how that's how they keep the budget down. You know, there's a lot of no name people who don't truth or dare style. Yeah, they don't command a high budget. So high budget, high budget. It's not much to talk about for me because when you're bored with something, it's like it. It left no imprint on me. I'm gonna forget about it immediately. Yeah, the action wasn't that great for me. No, and it's it's. I mean, it's a cheesy movie. You got Dolores spitting one liners the whole movie. Just sassy like, black lady liners. Right. Let's let's be real. There's, yeah, there's and, a slight difference. Yeah, and I'll I'll be honest. Like I, I really kind of wanted her to get fucking shot. <laughs> I was like, it would have been funny. If she Nobody was that off we really knew or cared about died except for Dimitri's cousin, sister, yeah. whatever. Who else died that we even knew? Marissa. Yeah, Marissa gets uh, killed, kind of off screen. They're looking at an iPad, and she gets shot in the head. They see drone footage, or a, yeah. Which footage. the drones look pretty good uh, towards the end, like the CG on it. I was surprised. If they were just going to kill night. everybody with the drones, because they shoot at the That's gang of name. black dudes, if they're just going to do that, why don't they do that in the beginning? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, because they that that would have commanded a higher budget. You would have had like this big gunfight with all these dudes, which which I was hoping for. I was like, oh sweet, you know, we're getting into some action. It's like, no, nah, we're just going to kill all these people off. This was a low budget movie that was proud to display how low budget it was. No, not a, not enough going on. Yeah, and and they could have, you know, they could have. I would have liked. Better. I would have liked to have seen a sort of. All right, the purge happens. Starts within ten fifteen minutes. The girl, the brother, the Hispanic women, they're stuck in the fucking apartment. Now he's got to get to them. I would have liked yeah. it better that. See, that's why I think you. Would they like, tried to yeah. spread it too. They tried to do too much with this. Tried to spread everything too thin. Yeah. See, the the second movie focuses on this one guy who's on a mission to kill a guy during the purge. Yeah. And you know his kind of journey through it. And there's characters that join him, but you have to have that focus with the purge. You can't be hopping around to all these except, characters. Except for character. at the first purge party. Every time we were outside, the streets were completely empty. Yeah, which is like not like the the Purge movies. I was gonna say if Anarchy is going off, isn't there fuckers everywhere? Oh like, yeah, motherfuckers lot... tearing each other limb from limb and shit over here. And yeah, but th- like I said, this is the first Purge, and so people have never participated in it, and so you have, uh, you know, um, you have people having a party, which I thought was really funny. You know, and yeah. I was kind of into that. I was like, oh okay, yeah, this kind of makes sense. Like everyone's getting like five thousand bucks, and. Uh, you know, um, you know, they're just having a party and stuff, and and, and I was kind of into that. Yeah. And then the fucking Skeletor just walks up and starts. He and, starts <laughs> grinding, dancing on this super hot girl, and I'm like, well, oh, what is? Well, I guess he's being wooed didn't over it, by it sex. Seem weird to you that this chick wouldn't look at this dude's face and be like, yo, I'm not trying to rub up my my ass. On it's your the dick. pur. It's the purge party. <laughs> Where everybody's feeling good. It's got a fucking blatant See, syringe. The purge, if they just let it happen, the purge could have been like <laughs> exactly what we needed. Everybody just right. parties and have a good time. Oh, you look like shit. I'm gonna dance on you anyway. Right. I'm a sexy girl. I don't Whatever. give a shit. It's a purge, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I would have liked that. Obviously, I would have liked that, but that would have yeah. made for a very interesting movie. <laughs> the um, the federal government killed world peace. Yeah. By killing many, many black people in this film. Yeah, it was all about uh, Black Lives Matter. That was the message. The main lead girl was some kind of an activist uh, or something. She was terrible. She wasn't great. She was, she was pretty cute, though. Yeah, she's all right. We're getting mauled by insects of all types. Yeah, we're in an enclosed space. Back window open. Mm. And we're in an enclosed space, and, uh, you know, we're filling it with carbon monoxide and stuff. Do me a favor, hold this here and um, tie the people over. Sing a jaunty tune. Sing a jaunty tune, huh? Well, I would definitely tell people, you know, that uh, you don't want to pay full price for this bad boy. I like boy. to sing about the moon and the Juna and the spring. T four two. If you can, uh, if you can get a budget uh, deal on this one, you can have some fun, you know. But. Uh, Definitely a matinee showing. 
Wow. Cheaper price. They, they put us in the small price. theater. This is a sneak yeah. preview. We were in the smallest theater. Yeah, they, they they put us in too small of a theater. And it was it was fucking packed, man. People were climbing over the s seats and stuff to oh, get out and shit. to get in. It was like, I mean, it was fucking loaded. Every row. Every fucking row. Well, how would you display describe the demographics? Of the They've audience? A mix it, of was, everybody. it was everybody. You had, you know, you had black dudes people. Dudes with chicks. Yeah, white older, dudes, black dudes. Yeah, older people. There was like a Hispanic girl in the front came in. It's horror every kind horror of people. brings people together. Absolutely. Horror and action movies. It's for everybody. Everybody of every creed. And so uh, it's cool that it is inclusive, you know. Um, you know, like I said, I think, I think you could have done better with a more black focused, um, you know, purge movie. You know, what you would you have done different? Um, well, f focusing, uh, like, like I said, on one character, uh, and, you know. Who would you have focused on? Isaiah, the sister, I, or if, 50? If I just got a pick from these characters. Quarter cent. <laughs> quarter cent. Uh, I actually would have, would have focused more on the kid in Skeletor. I think if you're doing, like, a horror movie, and it's him hunting him down. Yeah, that works that, better. That works way better. That would have been cooler. They introduced, like, the weird militia guy in the david cronenberg fate mask guy at right at the end yeah, and it's like the, okay the, we need another villain i guess the second and the third movie focuses on this uh this military guy uh who's who's Is really that good the military guy no 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 um kevin grillo was in the second and third movies and he's know him. he's uh he's a good actor he's kind of a badass looking dude and um uh they uh they they noticed that a lot of people really like uh that direction so with um they tried to go that direction with the drug dealing dude they tried to like oh we gotta have the the military badass dude you gotta have the younger kid you know we okay. gotta have you know all this you know who um so the black the i still don't think that the drug dealer dimitri was in the military at all really or I, they were I, alluding to I it at all 100 percent yeah because like you come on like like, like, you ain't moving like that. Who do you think, think you are? You think you're fucking That's why blade? it was so funny to me. That was just like, all of a sudden, that, that scene on the smoke, I'm like, this is like a fucking scene on a blade. Like, what are he they like, doing? Shitty he's, blade. There's two dudes, like, a couple Dull meters blade. apart from each other. He goes overhand with his assault rifle. Boom, boom. Kills the other guy. And then he whips it around underhand the other direction. Leftward. Like, he starts out right overhand. Whips it around across his body. Underhand, boom, boom, boom. And you, you forgot to bring up his partner in crime, who is holding two oh, AK forty yeah. sevens, twin in both AKs, of his hands, and shooting them. I was laughing my ass. I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" I don't know a lot about that. They had C. I don't it don't think, work. I don't think if you shoot C four, it explodes. No, but I can't be sure either. about that. And that made no sense either. Cause Why did he wait? He had it. I'm like, <laughs> hey. he's back where they're coming from. I know you're gonna use the C4. Yeah. I'm thinking, why didn't you plant it there before? Why are you gonna wait and then toss it? It's it's weird because his partner. Why aren't you using the detonator? Why are you shooting at that, it? That's the what I was just gonna say. When they're in the room with all the guns and he hands them the C4, he says, "This is remote you detonated know, C4." You know what I wish I saw more of? The old ladies in the beginning who had those weird dolls with explosives. Oh, yeah, and I'll tell you what. I, it was funny because I had just heard Whip It. A few days ago. That was fuck. I forgot I was that was dope. fucking incredible. I fucking love that track. Rick James, I mean, uh, musical recommendation great. today. We're going to do Rick James's Whip It. <laughs> Just let it whip. Oh, wait. It may not. I don't think that's Rick James. Rick James. I have it on my phone. Rick James. I, I, I thought. I Rick thought James is was awesome, Rick though. James. It may be, but I don't know. I'm almost positive because. Yeah. Also, Biggie's. Um, you're nobody till somebody kills you. Oh no, it's the Daz band. Let it whip, Daz band. Yeah, Daz yeah band. I know it. Still a good, you know, jaunty James tune. Band? Daz band? Maybe, no maybe not. I don't know. I don't know much about the Daz band except for that song. These um two old ladies. Here's it. Kind of opened up awkwardly. Where they do interviews, they give you these sort of microchips to you know, follow you or something. Yeah. And we open up with Skeletor. Then we go to these this little Mexican lady. Then we go to some other dude. And then these two little old ladies. Would you guys say that you have 
violent thoughts or wishes to do violence. People have been making fun of us our whole lives, <laughs> mister. What do you think? Yeah, that was, that was, that was funny. They're walking they, down the they street. They didn't do enough with those. They with didn't even kill them off. Of yeah, I know. That was so weird. They just totally... Uh... Next scene, we see them. They're walking down the street. Purge just started. No kills, no nothing. They're walking down the street with hundreds of dolls. And what we hear is, Whip it right. Lady whip, whip it all night. Whip it all night. And great. next we see him. Isaiah is. I knew he wasn't even gonna kill anybody. That was lame. They do they do shit like that too much in movies. The kid Isaiah to get extra money instead of asking this dude Dimitri, who he's all tight with, who has tons of money, and who said, "I'll just give you money," yeah. not to him directly, presumably. Right. He decides he's gonna work a corner. He gets sliced by Skeletor. So then, he decides he's going to go work the Purge. Has a gun to Skeletor's face. Does nothing. Yeah. That that was really lame. Because yeah. I was like, so many movies do that. And it's like, come on, man. It been, he, it, Skeletor even says to him. You know, he's like, come on. Come on, let me see that innocence gone. Shoot me in a fucking head. I love Skeletor. <laughs> I was like... More Skeletor, yo, more old women. I, I don't think they realized what they had. It shooting. could have been a really good, just nice B cult. All right, oh. we know we're making shit kind of movie, but yeah, they could have. It was just a cash grab. We know yeah. we're making shit. Like if movie. they focused on him, like just hunting him down, and like you know when that kid goes into that crack down with all those fucking dudes, it's like you could have made like a really scary, tense kind of fucking movie with this. They kept going back kid. to the church and stuff. I think, right? Yeah, that really didn't work either with fucking Dolores. Just like. Oh, man, I can't get through this night. I got to hit this. Oh, shit. This tastes like old man ass. Yeah, that I was, was like, damn, um, Dolores, you eating ass? Yeah. <laughs> why, would liquor, ass why would liquor taste like old man ass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess she's she's got the taste for that old man ass. Good old Dolores. I Honestly, I thought she was more annoying than funny. Yeah, she, she was annoying, but she had a couple lines I liked. <laughs> Do you remember them? I gave you the one about the air conditioner and the motherfucking give me the, building. Give me another one. Let's see her motherfucker. About her eating, eating the old man ass. Okay, good, good. Those were her two, her two number one lines. Five of the first 20 words in this movie were purge. Yeah. That was cheesy, the beginning line. Mm. He, and then when he says, I want to purge. And the guy goes, interesting choice of word. Pussy grabbing motherfucker. Yeah, that was that was weird. It Why was, was it happening, though? Like, he's just sitting there. He's not That's... even, like, trying to pull her in or rape her or nothing. He's oh, just he sitting there sort of her petting up. her pussy. He had the thing on her hand. He was trying to drag her down there to rape her. But he was, like, grabbing her. Instead of grabbing her by the leg, he's, gra like, trying to grab her leg, by the... You know? eh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And also, they wanted the Trump line. This is different than Trump. You know why? Trump said they let them, that they let him yeah. grab them by the pussy. Yeah. This guy did not. This guy... Is a Fun facts. Has a woman ever asked you to grab her pussy? I don't think so. <laughs> I've never met a woman who's ever said, grab my pussy. <laughs> I don't know, that hair. It's very <laughs> regal. There's a big difference between a chick wanting you to finger her and her gra <laughs> asking to grab her pussy. Yeah. Who the fuck grabs pussy? <laughs> You're president, apparently. <laughs> that was just funny to me. That, that was fine. I mean, grab some tit, you know, makes a little sense, but, yeah. you know, grab, pussy grab don't make much sense to me. <laughs> so you you want to go find all our ratings on this one and get this shit off? <laughs> Give it a three. <laughs> three. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd go with probably like a four on it. You know, it's not good. It's really not good. Uh, to give it a three. It's better than it's better than uh, election year in the first one. It's definitely a below average movie, but you you can have some fun with it. You know, it's it's not the greatest use of the concept, but this is more of a kind of rental. You know, I don't think you need to go out in the theater to see it. If you if you really dig the purge movies and you were really bummed out by the last one, this is a lot better, but still not that great. This is better than the last one? Oh, significantly better than Election Year. Election Year was unwatchable. I'd probably give it a 1 out of 10. That's how bad it was. I'm yeah. serious. The last one was like unwatchably fucking terrible. So, this is this is a, a massive bump up for me. <laughs> I was just bored the entire time. Yeah, they, they don't do enough with it. And it's they only stretched... In... They tried to do too much. They stretched everything too thin. Yeah, and it's an hour 37, too. It's not a long movie. 
don't watch it at all. I don't care if you <laughs> like the purge. If you like the purge, purge, purge yourself. these nuts. <laughs> purge these nuts, motherfucker. 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 Ah!